Hello friends, in this video, yet another short trick for you to enjoy and apply and teach to your students, your friends and amaze them. This is a short trick of finding the cube root of 8 and 9 digit numbers. So whenever we have an 8 or a 9 digit number, the cube root has 3 digits. So to find that number of 3 digits, you know, you need to apply some basic things. I'll just tell you the basic things first and then we will surely apply this for finding the cube roots of numbers like 49430863620650477. Everything becomes easy when we have short tricks. Everything becomes easy when we are able to solve something in minimum amount of time with minimum amount of pen and paper work. That's what is the intention of the 24 PDF short trick course. You know all these short tricks, about 350 short tricks mentioned in this course. Hundreds of students have qualified government exams on passing this, or on uh, you know studying this course and uh, teachers also, you know, and the academies, teachers, they are using this 24 PDF short trick course for teaching their students. So it's a famous course, go for it. A nominal cost associated with this course you can whatsapp 9896369963 if you want a copy of that course or you can visit www.sureshagarwal.in that's my name in the website to get a copy of that now coming back to the trick cube roots of eight and nine digit numbers so what is the first concept you need to know the first thing is whenever we find cubes of single digit numbers like 1 cube is 1, 2 cube is 8, 3 cube is 27, 4 cube is 64, 5 cube is 125, 6 cube is 216, 7 cube is 343, 8 cube is 512, 9 cube is 729. So if you remember the cubes of first 9 natural numbers, that is enough. For this trick and there's a peculiar property here you see the unit digit 1 8 7 4 5 6 3 2 9 there is no repetition of digits here so the cubes of 1 to 9 they end with a unique digit 1 8 7 4 5 6 3 2 9 so all digits up to 9 are covered in the unit place of the cubes of first 10 natural numbers first 9 natural numbers that is the first thing you need to know here. The property of this cubes is sufficient for you to get the cube root of such large numbers. Now I am demonstrating the method. Make triplets from the right hand side. See 863 is a triplet, 430 is a triplet and now we are left with only 49. Doesn't matter if we are left with 1, 2 or 3 digits here. Make triplet like this another triplet and now we are left with a triplet here. So it can be a doublet or a triplet in the first place. Now come to the solution of this particular question. The first step is to find the unit digit of our answer. So what will be the unit digit? Just see the unit digit of the first triplet from the right hand side 863. Now 863 ends with 3. So which cube is ending with 3? It is 343 it this is ending with 3 it will be only 1 and which is that cube it is 7 cube right so my answer is going to end with 7 so in place of this triplet now I have a 7 in the answer now before proceeding with the middle term I will come to the first digit here 49 now see 49 between which two perfect cubes 49 lies. 49 lies between 27 and 64, which is the smaller one. Smaller one is 27 and it is 3 cube. So 3, this comes out to be the first digit. And now I have to just find the middle digit. So my answer has to be 300 something ending with 7. Now finding the middle digit can be a little tricky. Just watch carefully what I am doing. 
and you will be through with this method and you will be able to solve the next question which I have written here a nine digit number very easily okay so now what I'm going to do is the last triplet which I have taken is 863 right the last one and the last digit is 7 and 7 cube is 343 so I need to subtract this 7 cube from the last triplet and I don't need to subtract the entire thing I just want the middle term and the middle term this is 0 so the middle term will be 6 minus 4 2 because I am finding the middle term so take the middle term of this difference so middle term is going to be 2 so my answer for the question will be something related to this 2 it is not yet the correct answer but I'll tell you how to get the answer now. So after having found out the middle term of this difference, now I want some number to end with 2. And what is that number? Just take, remember this rule, 3 times the square of the unit digit, 7 square, multiplied by some number. Now this number I have to find. 3 times this 3 is a fixed quantity the unit digit square multiplied by this digit is x so I am finding x now is equal to some number ending with the difference the middle digit of the difference that is 2 now this is logic how you find the number x see 7 square is 49 so 3 into 49 3 into 49 will end with 7 because 3 nines are 27 it ends with 7 now 7 a number ending with 7 multiplied by something should give me a number ending with 2 so can you tell me what the, this number will be it will be a single digit number I want a single digit number only because it is a digit so 7 into 1 is 7 not ending with 2 7 into 2 is 14 again not ending with 2 7 into 3 21 not ending with 2 7 4 is 28 no 7 5 is 35 no 7 6 is 42 and there we have 42 so the value of x has to be 6 only then the unit digit will be 2 so x comes out to be 6 and there we have the answer of this cube root 367 is the cube root of 49430863 little complicated right but everything needs practice if you practice this, you are going to get the correct answer of 8 and 9 digit perfect cube numbers. The cube root is very easy to find. I'll show you one more example. But let me tell you simultaneously that there may be some exceptions to this rule. I have written in the title of the video that this is actually applying only to odd numbers. See, it's an odd number ending with 3. So it's an odd number. So I have taken only odd numbers in this video because when I tried to apply this trick on even numbers, I could find alternative answers. That is two different answers were possible. So I'm just figuring out how to find the exact answer in case of even numbers. In the meantime, you can practice this odd numbers. I'll come up with that video also, but it would be good if you explore it yourself. Let's apply that to this number now. Now the last triplet is 477. So I want to cancel this 477. Number ending with 7 is 27 which, are, which is 3 cube. So my answer is going to be 3 in the end. And then 620. 620 lies between 512 and 729. Lower one is 512 which is 8 cube. So this number is going to be 8. And in the middle I have this x. So I have reached up to this step now. Now take the difference as I have told you earlier. How do we find the difference? Take the last triplet 477 and take the cube of this number, the unit digit 3. So the cube of that is 27. Now if you take the difference, the middle term is going to be 5. So I want a number which is 3 times the unit digit square multiplied by this x gives you something ending with 
5. Now this is an important step. 3 times the unit digit square multiplied by the middle digit gives you the number ending with the middle term of this difference. This tip step is very important and you need to remember that. Now 3 square is 9. 9 3 is 27. So this is a number ending with 7 multiplied by x gives you a number ending with 5. So what will be x now? This is obvious because 7 into 5 is going to give me 35 which ends with 5. There is no other number x which can give you a number ending with 5. So x has to be 5 and there you have the answer in place of x you have 5 and you have the true root of 6206504777. See, we can't even dream of making factors of this big number. It is just impractical to think of making the factors and to think of any other method of finding the cube roots of such numbers. But through practice, everything is possible. Great mathematicians like Shakuntala Devi, they have taught us so many things. Let's follow their path. Let's study their techniques, their thinking the kind of uh, you know methods and tricks they used to adopt to get uh, good marks at school level and to you know excel in their field success is not far away when we are smart enough to learn such thing at an early stage so all the teachers all the parents who are watching this video of eight and nine digit cube roots you can you can do that mentally also you know uh, i i can do now the oral finding of two groups of 8 and 9 digit numbers that is odd numbers. I am still working on the even numbers. Surely I will come up with another video for that. Till then practice this. Send me a message on WhatsApp for the short trick course. Too good for school students also and for quantitative aptitude exams. If you visit www.sureshagarwal.in you will find lots of such downloads up for grabs. Friends, thanks for watching this video and I hope you have clicked the subscribe button by now and uh, you must be getting the notifications by clicking the bell shaped icon also. Thanks for watching this.